Today I'm thinking about people I've heard from recently and how they've described how they feel trapped in their lives. And I can certainly relate because as an adult child of an alcoholic, I have spent most of my life feeling totally trapped in my life circumstance. And it's been amazing for me as I've spent more time with fellow grown-ups in this grown-up land, how many people feel that way. They talk about feeling trapped in their jobs and their careers that don't satisfy them or cause them stress. They talk about friendships and relationships and marriages that don't satisfy them or uh, make them unhappy. Uh, they talk about waking up with dread and going to bed at night and not being able to sleep because they're so worried about the circumstance and they feel there's no way out. They're trapped for many, many different reasons. And I've heard from fellow adult children of alcoholics that they also feel trapped as the caregivers in their family. And I certainly know what this feels like because for most of my life, I have been focused on taking care of my mom who has a substance use disorder and the rest of the family and not taking good care of myself. Um, I felt very responsible for my mother. I was uh, very much more like an adult than a kid early on. And I recognized that how I was living was not healthy, but I had no way of changing that or I thought there was no way to change it. And my, as I grew up, I always felt that weight and it worsened as I got older because I was taking on even more adult responsibilities. And I had tried so hard to gain control of my life and everything always felt so out of control. I believed that if I could convince my mom to stop drinking or to get help so that she would stop drinking, I would be free from that terrible feeling that I was trapped in our life circumstance. And, you know, I still struggle with that feeling of being trapped. Even after everything that I've learned and all the progress I've made, I've made on this journey, I still feel that feeling from time to time. And um, there's some comfort in knowing that it's a very common feeling. And I have learned there are a few important things that can be done when you feel that sense of entrapment coming upon you. So the first one, and hands down the most important one, is focus on self-care. So when I feel this sense of being trapped in a life circumstance, almost always my self-care has taken an extreme hit or it's not even in existence. So last week, I only got about five hours of sleep every night during the week, and I could see a real difference at work and in my personal life with how I dealt with the stress. Um, sleep is so important. And for me personally, it w was a big discovery about how important it is for me because I'd spent my whole life hardly getting any sleep at all. Um, and. I also find that if I'm not drinking enough water or if I'm skipping meals or eating just garbage food, all of that is, is contributing to me not thinking clearly. Um, and when I'm not thinking clearly, I'm making bad decisions or not putting in the commitment or the effort to make the right decision for myself. So if, if I'm giving the time and I'm committed to taking good care of myself, then I find my feeling of entrapment isn't there or it's dramatically lessened. And two, I recognize what exactly needs to change in my life. So I am often so immersed in my own chaos that I cannot see clearly what is wrong in my life or what I need to do to change it. And that's why I have found that listening to other people who inspire me who encourage me, who have a story that's similar to mine or um, demonstrates something that I aspire to really helps me see clearly what is wrong in my life. So for me, this is through attending Al-Anon meetings, which was very important to me earlier on in my adult child of an alcoholic healing journey. Um, but 
more recently, it is in the form of blogs and podcasts and books written by other people. Of course, my friends have also been valuable in this area and family members. However, for me, I have found that sometimes people who are in your inner circle are too close to the matter or too close to your life like you are, and they can't see clearly the way that outside perspective could. Um, so they also might have the same brain programming and in my family. We're a bunch of codependents with anxiety and all kinds of lovely issues. So um, for me, they're not the best resource to help me see where I need to focus on improving my life. Um, but that varies for every person, of course. And then three, to create an action plan to solve it. So when I was at my very worst point in my life, I was 26 years old. Um, that was the worst period of my mother's alcoholism. I was raising my sister. I was in an extremely demanding and stressful job during the economic recession. Um, I couldn't get out of my job because the economy was so bad and any other job would have been just like it. Um, I had all this chaos going on at home and I was trying to be the stable figure in my sister's life and be a, a mom to her essentially. I was trying to keep everything running in my family so you can imagine the weight of that sense of entrapment that was on me. Um, so at that point in desperation, finally, is when I focused on an action plan to get the hell out of that situation. And I only got to that point out of complete desperation because I thought, I really feel like I can't go on anymore. I dread every day so much. I wish it hadn't gotten to that point, but it did. Um, so at that time, I, I got educated about addiction and the effects on families and um, learned that I was totally normal with my adult child of an alcoholic uh, brain programming. Um, I uh, spent time doing things that I had always loved to do as a child. I enrolled in a creative writing course at a local community college and I started writing. That led me to join writers groups. I started giving more time to the things that were good for me, that I love to do. So for me, as an adult child of an alcoholic, uh, feeling trapped is more familiar than not feeling trapped. Um, it's actually in some ways comforting to have that chaos and that stress with you. Um, and taking steps to stop that feeling takes a lot of effort and commitment. But since I know that my only job in life is to take good care of myself, to ensure that I am healthy and safe, and if I am pursuing serenity, then I need to do this. I hope you are well in your journey.